Good Sunday morning, afternoon, evening. I'm Jeremy Marquez with J Marketing. We call you close more real estate listings, and uh, we are live and direct here in my home studio office. Uh, Sunday morning, May 2nd, just hanging out, having some coffee, doing what I do on Sunday mornings. Listening to a little bit of jazz music. About to make some calls. I pulled a list. Um, so my client has a he has a ten unit, uh, eleven unit under contract. Uh, so we are going to call other multi foot family units around there. So we're going to call the investors to see if they want to sell their property, um, since we have the eleven unit under contract. I think the yeah the property is it's been we've had it for under, we've had the listing for a while but it's finally under contract 1262 all right yeah it's in west hollywood it's right off of sunset it's like an apartment building basically So we're gonna call around and Sunday's a good day to call investors because they're available and they'll pick up the phone. They're handling business usually. So let me set the stream up. Hopefully you guys don't mind the music turn it down a little bit. Hopefully I don't get hit with the copyright. Getting everything set up here, guys. All right, so I have seventy three uh, leads. So these are going to be all anything from duplexes to three. So anything from two up. What we're looking for is ten and up, because we have a, a buyer who's looking to buy multiple ten plus unit apartment complexes. And so these are multi million dollar deals. We're talking like two, three, four, five, ten million dollar deals. And it's a business transaction. It's completely different than calling like an expired listing or a for sale by owner listing. Uh, it's more of a business conversation. It's all about the numbers. And I, I really actually, uh, I like it. I like conversations like that. It's good to have a, a, a mix to be able to go back and forth between residential and commercial. Got a quote from Albert Einstein this morning. All right, we are logged into the dialer. Let's go ahead and see what happens on a Sunday. dial on Sundays for at least an hour for each campaign, Saturdays and Sundays and holidays. Okay. 
So again, we're looking for, uh, we're going to be calling uh, apartment complexes. However, what we're doing is we're looking for the owners. A lot of these numbers are going to be tenants. Uh, we're looking for the actual owner who typically has does not live in, near the property. We're looking for the business office, maybe their mobile phone, uh, or the business development manager, maybe somebody in the company who's in charge of that. We may not even speak to the owner. Like that one there is a five unit. This data, it came out of Red X. So what you do is you pull a geo list of an area and then you go, you go to the filters and then the filters, you go to the property filters and you can pr filter out the property types and you can just select the uh, two unit, uh, four unit, five unit and take out everything else and then have a list from there extracted of specific property types. Um, and so you're able to pull any type of property you want from the GLD feature from Red X, and a part of my part of my training with Power Prospecting, I, I train you guys and I show you guys how to use. Hello, good morning. I, I was trying to speak to uh, the Meyer Berman. Okay. Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of wrong numbers because a lot of them are going to be tenants that live in these buildings, and we're trying to track down the owner. It is Sunday Power Hour. Yeah, hi, this is Paul. Leave a message. Hi, this is Richard. Can you leave me a message?
Sorry about that, guys. Well, I am multitasking, doing things over here, doing things over there. Trying to find this group. This group, they changed the name of their group, and I had a few people in there that really liked the streams. Yes, I was trying to read. Voicemail, 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 voicemail. Uh, good morning. I was trying to reach Annette or Jose Busso. Oh, she answered and hung up and called back. Hi, Annette. Yeah. Uh, this is Jeremy over at uh, John. Yeah. This is Jeremy at John Hart Real Estate calling about your property on Switzer. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I have a broker and I'm not interested. Okay. All right. You can take me off your list. She has a broker and she's not interested, so we will take her off of our list. Please record your message. When you're finished recording, 
Uh, good morning. This is Jeremy Marquez over at uh, John Hart Real Estate. I was trying to reach the owner of 1233 North North Harper. Are you the owner of that building, sir? Uh, it's an apartment complex. Right. Are you the owner of the building or are you a tenant? I'm a tenant. Gotcha. Sorry about that. Wrong number. Lots of tenants, guys. We're going to get lots of tenants. We're looking for the owners. And we will get them because we spoke to one, but she, she said she has a broker and she shut us down, so we had to move to the next. So, <clears throat> Good morning. Hello? Uh, I was trying to reach the owner of the uh, 1236 North Sweetser building. Are you the owner or one of the tenants? I'm looking for the owner of 1236 North Sweetser. Oh, yeah. I'm just one of the tenants. Gotcha. Okay, my bad. Have a good day. You too. Hey. So I, I should do a little bit of skip tracing here, okay? Because um, some of them, you know, they're going to be nice, and they'll talk to you a little bit. Maybe you can get a little bit of information and try to find out the owner. Um, that's really the... I need to remember that's part of the game when we're calling multifamily units. It's speaking to the tenants and sometimes tracking down the correct phone number for the owner. So I'll slow it down a little bit and play the long game. So 12, 1262 North Sweetser is a multi, it's, a, it's an 11 unit. And we're calling around there. We have that property under contract. When I say we, I mean my client. Uh, good morning. Can I speak to Gerald or Ignat? You have the wrong number. Okay, thank you. You guys are just joining the stream. We are calling multifamily units in Los Angeles, West Hollywood. My client has a multifamily unit under contract, and so we're calling around there because we have a buyer. Good morning. We have a buyer who's looking to buy more, so we're looking to speak to more property owners who are ready to go ahead and let go of their property and have a quick transaction. Hi, you were to make me get me. Some of these, uh, some of these voicemails are very delayed. Let me turn that fan off. Pretty sure it has to do with the red X end. Please leave your message for eight. And so with this list, I mean, we're going to go back through it. We're going through on a Sunday, so it is what it is. We'll go through it again tomorrow. We'll get, we'll pull more. Uh, this is a something we do on a daily basis, and we may just have a couple. Good morning. Can I speak to? The owner of 1260 North Harper. Probably another tenant. I need to come through with a more of a soft open. More of a soft open. People are just like, whoa, and hanging up. Uh, good morning. Trying to reach Edward. Yeah. 
Jeremy calling from uh, John Hart Real Estate about your property on Flores. Hey, it's fucking 8, 9.30. Give me a break. Okay, what, what time should I call back? <laughs> he said it's effing 9.30. Give me a break. And he said 8.30. But in reality, 9.30 is not that early, guys. So let's call him back. In about an hour. Nine thirty is a perfect time to be calling on Sunday, guys. And when you get a call like that, you want to keep calling. Hello. Uh, good morning. I was trying to speak to the owner of twelve five six North Flores. This is Jeremy with John Hart Real Estate. Uh, you the number. Okay, thank you. Probably another tenant. So shortly after this, when we're done with the Los Angeles campaign, uh, good morning. This is Jeremy over. Hey, this is I'm not to take you. So we're gonna switch it up to. Uh, so right now we're in Los Angeles, and then uh, here shortly we'll switch it up to the Bay Area. We'll go up north. Um, I have some clients here with Coldwell Banker um, in Petaluma, so Sonoma County, North Bay Area. Um, and right now I'm actually looking to fill a slot. So I'm looking for a, uh, a realtor, agent, broker team um, in the Central. Please leave your message for. Central Standard Time Zone. So, you know, the middle of the country or the Eastern Time Zone. So we can switch it up a little bit. So if you're a realtor and you're looking to delegate or outsource your prospecting. Uh, Joseph, please. So Spanish speaking, we'll have our Spanish rep call them. Um, if you're looking to delegate your prospecting and if you're looking to up your listings, uh, my services will provide. Uh, good morning. You know, basically my job is to create leads for you guys. You know, I'm, I'm going through data, I'm creating leads. My goal is to set appointments. I'm trying to set as many appointments as possible face to face, Zoom or over the phone. Um, we're in the pandemic, so it depends on how the call goes. My goal is to be able to connect you with as many motivated sellers as possible, okay? Um, you hire me as a service, uh, as an actual service to pr provide appointments and leads for you to be able to convert into uh, new listings. That's why you hire me. Um, and I have one position available, so basically I can only work with so many at a time um, until I scale up my business, but um, I am looking to fill one time slot right now. So if you're a realtor and if you're doing over three transactions a month, um, requirement is I need you to be doing at least three deals or more a month right now and, and be doing that for at least a year. So I'm looking for, you know, not for newer agents, brokers and teams, uh, guys and gals who have been on the phone, who have been converting, but have now just are a little bit too busy to do it, um, who just maybe just aren't good enough, know they're not that great on the phone and it makes more sense to delegate. Uh, shoot me a message. I'll shoot you a link to my calendar and we can talk details about that. Okay, enough of the self promo on to the next call. Almost time for more coffee. Good morning. I was trying to reach Mars. Marcel or Parviz? Who's there? Uh, this is Jeremy calling from Carl Markarian's office at John Hart Real Estate. 
Well, it's in regards to 1240 North Flores. Uh, we actually have a property around the corner, 1262 North Sweetser. It's actually under contract right now. And I was trying to reach out to all the other property owners in the area to see if you were considering selling at any point. Uh, no, we're not. You have 1240 North Flores, is that right? Yeah. How many units is that? If you were to sell in the future, do you have a broker that you would work with? I hear you. If, if you were to sell in the... <laughs> He's not selling. All right. Well, at least we're having conversations, right, guys? On to the next. That's what it's all about. You want to have these conversations. You want to be able to go through the data so you can work through these lists. He's not selling, but at least we got through that. You know, we had a conversation with one of the owners. What can we do? Nothing. We can't make somebody sell their property. All we're doing is we're calling. We're having conversations with owners. We're basically taking a survey. Forward into an automated voice messaging system. And we're finding out if there's any interest at all in selling. All we need to do is find one or two, right? I'll, I'll, I'll spend hours. I'll spend hundreds of hours just to find a couple. I'll do it all day. We're talking about five, ten, twenty million dollar transactions. Uh, good morning. This is Jeremy calling from uh, John Hart Real Estate trying to reach Jill Reed. I was trying to reach Jill Reed, uh, the owner of 8259 Fountain Ave. Okay, take me off your list. That makes me die like 20 years ago. He's the owner of the apartment building. So, so who's the owner now? Who's the owner now? Have a good morning. On to the next. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Three. That gal sounded like she was having a terrible Sunday. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, who, where did I call? Hello? Yes, uh, I was trying to reach uh, the owner of... No, he just hung up, huh? <clears throat> the thing is, with like these, it's kind of like you're fishing. You don't really have solid data. You don't always have a name. Sometimes it's like an LLC, um, so you don't really know who you're asking for. So you're really going in very, this is a true cold call. David, please, please. A lot of times you don't even have a name. You have a number, you have an address and like a company name. And so, you know, if you're a, a, a cold caller that doesn't really work well outside of the box, then you're gonna have difficulty with these because you have to get creative and you have to be able to think outside of the box and know which direction you need to go with the call. Otherwise, you're just gonna be spinning your wheels all day long. And sometimes I feel like I am, so sometimes I need to focus in and like kind of, okay, figure out who, because it's not like you're calling a residential property where you know the name of, you know, Steve and Sam Stevenson. <laughs> it's not like that with commercial units.
All right, let's switch it up a little bit. We're going to switch it up from the multifamily list. All right, so we're going to call around a, um, a property that is about to be, well, is active now. It is listed for, I believe, $795,000. So we're calling around the, the neighborhood to see if anybody else is ready to sell. Lister. Lister. Hello, I was calling to speak with Anoush. Anoush? Hello? I'm calling back. He blocked me. So this is a uh, just listed calls. So we have 11632 Lister. It's been listed for just a couple of days. It's have a lot of activity, a lot of showings. It's probably going to be in, under contract hey, shortly. Hey, it's Rosemary. Leave me a message at the beep. So I'm calling the neighbors to see if anybody else is considering selling and then um, establishing a relationship with them and my client and on to the next. That's my goal here is just to create more relationships so he can list more property in that neighborhood. You guys will notice a link to the group Rookie to Relevant Realtor Resource. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Um, that is my public group on Facebook for my my training program. Uh, on top of calling, like I'm doing right now for realtors, you can you can join my training program. We have a one-on-one -on -one weekly training program where I work with you on your cold calling, from setting up your platform you know, like your technology, all the way to one-on-one -on -one training, to live call coaching. Um, it's a six-month program, and so if you want details on that, join the group, um, and we'll have a consultation call and talk details and get you guys started with that. My goal is to get you to a point where you're setting enough appointments for yourself every week to where you can convert one listing a week by the time we're done working with each other. And, you know, um, I have students who are already crushing it, who have now hired me to call for them 
through the success that they've had. So uh, let me know if I can help you guys too. So the caller ID right now says John Hart Real Estate. I'm gonna change it to my client's name. And just to see if it changes any, makes a difference in the pickup rate. My goal is just to get people to answer the phone, you know? Uh, typically, one out of every 20 calls will have a conversation. Sometimes less, sometimes more, but that's about how it is really. Uh, this is Jeremy with uh, John Hart Real Estate. I was trying to reach Rolla or Chris. Do I have the right number? No, you do not. Oh, um, well, I guess I just have bad information. I apologize. Also, if you guys could, if you're watching the, this live or the replay, uh, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. It may not mean a lot to you, but it means the world to me. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers so I can monetize my channel. And here's all my social links as well. So we're currently calling around an active listing. Um, it's listed for $795,000. Um, it won't be active long. It's probably going to get these. It's probably going to be in uh, under contract very quickly. Either way, what we're doing is we're calling around the neighborhood uh, to see if there's any other neighbors that are considering selling their property and then uh, creating an appointment or a lead for my client to be able to convert to a listing from there. And as soon as we have a good conversation, we're gonna fill up the coffee cup. Maybe before. Hi, you've reached one
Uh, good morning. This is Jeremy calling from uh, John Hart Real Estate for Mr. or Mrs. Chow. I'm sorry. Um, not here. Bye. Sorry, not here. Bye. Please leave your message for Uh, good morning. Can I speak to Harash Hello? or Sarni? Hello. Uh, I was trying. Yes. I was trying to reach the owner of eleven seven three seven Baird. Yes. This is Jeremy calling from. Uh, yes, Je yes, this is Jeremy calling from uh, John Hart of Real Estate. Uh -huh, yes. Yes. Uh, I was just giving you a quick call because we recently. Uh, listed your neighbor's house around the corner on Lister. Uh, it's for for sale. Eleven six three two. So right now it's listed for seven hundred and ninety five thousand dollars. So I was calling all of the neighbors to see if you guys were considering selling it because the market is so hot right now. Oh no, we just uh, we bought this less than two years ago. Oh. So you guys just moved in in 2018? Yes. Okay. Have you considered selling? Uh, no, no, no. We, we, uh, we are going to stay here, I think, for a long time. Okay. So, yeah, it is a nice area. So, if yeah. in the future, uh, if you were to buy or sell any property, uh, do you have a realtor that you would work with? Well, are you? Well, I guess my question is: is if it, it, we are selling a house around the corner on Lister, and uh, we're, we're going to be selling more property in the area, so we, uh, my my brokerage, uh, John Hart Real Estate, and Carl Markarian, my boss, would uh, like to be able to make himself available. If in the future you need any help, real estate related, he can uh, be there as a resource for you. Sure, sure, definitely. Okay. Can I, what would be the best email to send you our information so just to keep in contact? So it's uh, Ayvazian, my last name, and then my first name. So Ayvazian, I don't know if you have my last name. Is it uh, A-Y-V-A-Z-I-A-N? Okay, and then the... And my first name, Harach? E-H-E-R-A-C-H? Yes, Okay. Perfect. Okay. And uh, yes, you said you're not planning on selling, but have you considered, uh, you know, purchasing any other properties for investments or anything like that? Uh, not yet. We actually have another property. Okay. Okay. Where's that? It's in Burbank. You have another one in Burbank? Okay. Are you guys renting that one out or? Okay, okay. Have you considered selling that at any point? I don't think so, no. No? Okay. Well, um, I, I work for, his name is Carl Markarian, and he's the, uh, he's, he's the broker, the, the team lead here at uh, John Hart. And the property around the corner, it's at uh, 11632 Lister. You'll probably see it's for sale. Uh, it's listed right now for seven hundred and ninety-five thousand. So, if you know anybody who's looking to move to the area, we can help. Uh, show uh, seven ninety-five. Seven ninety-five. Yes, it's it, 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 it was priced a little bit low to be able to 
uh, get some activity on the property and there's been a lot of showings and we, we expect it to go under contract pretty soon. 7-9, yeah, the address is 11-632. Yeah, if you want, I can, I, can, I, can, I, can ha I can ask Carl to email you the listing information so you can look at it. Sure. Okay. Um, okay, so that way if you know anybody who would want to move to the area, you can share that info and maybe we can help you, you know, maybe have a friend or family move to the area as well. Yeah, okay. What, what's your Sunday looking like? What are you guys up to? Just hanging out or just uh, doing bu you busy? What are you guys enjoying the weather? Yeah, enjoying the weather. Yeah, it's nice today. Yeah. Well, Harash, thank you for your time. I'm going to talk to Carlo. I'll have him email you some information. And uh, if, you need any, if you need any help at all with anything real estate related, let us know. And he may end up, he, he, he'll probably send you all the information on that listing. He might even reach out to say hello. You never know. Sure. Okay. H have a good day. Okay. You too. Bye. Thank you. So, they're not selling, but he's a nice guy and he has a property in that area and at some point they will sell. They have another property that they have as a rental that they're not selling but they would maybe consider selling in the future. So it's a contact. Um, it's somebody that would p potentially uh, send us a referral. So what we're going to do is we're going to email them, uh, keep in contact and just move on to the next. Nothing solid there, just something that we can throw in the database. So I'll send that over to, to, to Carl and then let him handle it from there. I'm gonna go ahead and check the clock and I'm pretty much at about an hour for this campaign. Uh, so on the weekends, that's usually what I do is about an hour. So let me check the comments here. I'm gonna go ahead and end this live stream. Uh, for those of you that have tuned in, thank you. Uh, I'm Jeremy Marquez with J Marketing. We call, you close. If you guys need any help with anything at all, let me know. Um, take a look at the group. Uh, if you're a realtor, that's my public group for my coaching program. We do a one-on-one -on -one training for cold calling. Uh, if you want some information on that, just let me know. Happy Sunday. Stay out of trouble. Talk to you guys soon.